Welcome to Structural Analysis Lectures by Civil Thinking and today we will begin the trusses chapter. This is our first class on trusses and in this lecture we will see what is a truss, what are the parts of a truss, what are its types and what are the loads on a truss. So let's begin. Now what is a truss? Now as you can see here it is written a truss is a type of structure made up of interconnector triangular units okay triangular units usually made of metal or wood the triangular shape of the truss is important because it provides rigidity and stability making the structure resistant to bending and twisting twisting forces now basically what is a truss it is something made up of triangles for example this is a truss this is a triangle okay then let us now this is another triangle and this is another triangle then we have this is another triangle okay now when you connect different triangles together okay when you connect all of them you get something called truss okay now what you do you connect the members the straight members okay you connect them with the help of a pin okay basically it is a member it is a straight member okay straight line okay and you put a pin here and you put another straight member here and you connect them here with the help of a pin okay then you put another straight member here and connect them with pins here okay this way this triangle this is really stable okay this is a stable structure and it is very good in carrying the actual loads so this is the simplest form of truss okay so basically this is a truss okay when we connect these uh, triangular parts together okay then you have some support or whatever based on the type of truss okay this is basically truss okay interconnected triangular unit is usually made of it you can construct it with the help of metals okay or it can be constructed with the help of wood okay now i told you this triangular shape it provides rigidity okay it's very rigid okay it is stable okay so with the help of these trusses you can make your structure wherever you use it you can make it resistant to bending okay the structure will be resistant to bending and it won't twist also okay now parts of a truss now as i have told you before we have member member is a straight straight part okay like this and it is like this okay then we have another member we connect with the help of these are known as joints okay because we join two members right now this is also a joint because we connect this member and this member at this point okay this is known as joint now if it is now if we have a support here okay if it is resting on this you call this as support okay you might know this already this is a member okay and this is a joint right so let's move on now let us see this look at this picture now if you see this is a roof made of wooden something triangular shape like like this is a triangle now these are all trusses okay then we have another triangle behind right so the, it is basically like this right so here we have a wooden we have a com compound truss okay this is i will tell you later what is a compound truss right now it is important that this is truss okay you connected these multiple trusses okay <clears throat> okay then what you get you join them and you get a roof okay basically you can construct with a roof here also you can use the trusses in the bridges in the roofs or in other parts of the structures okay so let me show you another example look at this this is a bridge and you can see you have a truss here the triangular part right as you can see here it is like this 
like this right it is like this like this and like this right now this is a also a truss okay you have pins connected here so now let's move on now types of trusses now first of all we have simple trusses we have you combine simple tr trusses you get compound truss okay then we have complex truss they are you know they are as you can see the complex word they are neither simple they are neither compound okay they are a combination of simple compound okay all the mix okay it is all mix of all of these simple compound okay now let us talk about simple trusses okay now let me first tell you the simplest truss okay sim simplest simplest truss now a triangle okay a triangle is a simplest truss okay this is the most basic okay unit building unit of a truss right this is a building unit of a truss now now this is the simplest truss now when you add multiple simplest trusses okay when you connect these triangles together you get a complex truss for example let me draw connect one element here and connect one element here excuse my handwriting these are all straight okay now this is one triangle right this is a triangle this is another triangle and this is another triangle you basically have three triangles here right one two and three now how do you get this you you connected simple trusses okay or like this for example this is a truss then this is a simplest triangular unit then you add another triangular unit like this mm, like this okay then you add another simple triangular unit okay so this way one two three you get two simplest trusses or two three triangular units okay so when you combine simplest trusses elements okay the building blocks you get simple trusses okay this is all these are simple trusses okay now compound trusses is what when you this is simple truss or for example this when you add multiple simple trusses together okay for example this is one simple truss and you have another simple truss here for example okay now what you do you connect them okay you connected them let me show you how like this you connected them okay okay let me try to be a little perfect okay now you connected them and what you get you add one more member here for example okay so you added two simple trusses you get compound truss okay then complex truss as i said before it is just a, you know mix random mix something like this for example okay now this is neither complex neither sorry i mean this is neither compound neither simple okay this is just a mixture okay so let me show you more examples here as you can see here this is a simple this is the simplest truss right this is simplest truss this is the building block right building block or the what you call as the basic unit of, right basic unit then you connected these right you added them together you get simple truss right this is a simple truss right then for example now let me show you here uh, this was the simplest truss right this is the simplest then you added two elements here what is this this is simple truss right because you get one two and three triangular units so this is a simple truss made up of three triangular units okay now you added more members here more members here okay now this is what this is a compound truss right compound truss okay now as you can see here 
now this thing is something random okay here we have a complex cross right why because this is a mix you know random okay so let me talk about the loading on the truss you see we assume that loads are carried by the members only okay for example this is truss okay now this is a member the loads are carried by the members only okay actually okay the loads are carried by members actually this is the member either it can be in tension okay or it can be in compression okay this is tension and this is compression right so the thing is that they carry only actual forces okay and when you apply a load you apply load on the joints for example load here okay then you add another load for example here you don't add load at this point midpoint okay no the load you the external load or the applied load is added at the joints only okay and the member have only one force and that is axial okay that is axial means along the length the major axis okay so i think this is the perfect lecture to begin the trusses this was the introduction and we will learn more and more in the coming classes okay so that's it for today see you in the next class thank you